2024 is the year of the wood dragon, so let's draw, ink, and color a wood dragon. Instead of going with guidelines, I'm going with this looser technique. It's kind of a light scribble, and I just scribble in areas like eyes, nose, mouth, the areas that I know I want for sure, but I don't quite yet know where to place them. I'll just scribble in really light lines until I am sure that I want to get a line. Once I think I have everything in place, I then start back over the entire drawing with a darker line. It, it is still possible to make changes at this point, but you would have to probably erase. And since this is a wood dragon, instead of horns, I'm going to go with branches and put little leaves everywhere. And then working on the dragon's neck, I have the front or the ventral side. It's going to be a little bit different than the, the rest. It's going to be this kind of scales taking inspiration obviously from a snake here. I just keep working my way down the whole back of the neck, adding some texture. I'm going to be going over this in just a moment with some ink. Now that I have all of my pencil in place, I'm going to go over all of my final lines with what's called a pigment liner. This is just a permanent pen, an ink pen. This one happens to be made by Stedler. And I'm taking my time here. I think this process took over 10 minutes. I'm just slowly working my way through, putting in details as I go along. After I have the whole thing outlined, I'm going to go over the entire drawing with a white eraser and erase all of the pencil. And the great thing about that pigment liner is that it is completely unaffected by the eraser. So all of the pencil will come off and all that's left is that ink outline, my final lines. After the pencil is gone, you may see some areas that need a little more detail. You can just drop those in. Now to coloring. I'm just going to use the black to get the darkest shadows and areas that I know I don't want any color. Like black in the mouth, in the nostrils, and under some of the scales. Now I'm going to outline the whole dragon in this light brown. This is a kind of a reddier brown, like a sienna. And now with a darker brown, I'll start going over some of the areas that I want to recede. That means fall back. So that would be along the edge, the back edge, and under the mouth, in the shadows. And I'll do an even darker brown and go over some of those very, very dark areas one more time. For the belly, I'll choose something lighter, maybe beiges and pinks. The same idea, I'll try to make a rounded form by putting the darker side toward the edge. It's just a matter of filling in the tongue and teeth, then, and some final marks. And that's going to be it. If you got value from this content, please do consider subscribing. It really does help me out.